hi guys welcome back to my channel so with me again i have somebody joining me for part two of our dark skin series video and in this video we're going to be talking about one phrases that we've gotten about being dark skinned so as usual don't forget to like subscribe comment all that good stuff let's get started hi guys again so we decided to make this video a bit more lighthearted than the first still as serious yes but maybe maybe it will be better for you to understand the struggle if you can relate it to us yeah yeah so we got 10 questions this is from the internet so you know that it's not like me and john who sat down and were like let's be salty and think about everything people have told us no this is an, an article from the us so it speaks to all of us to all dark skin girls yeah so the first question is you're so pretty for a dark skin girl John? yeah i've gotten that before i have to how was it for you for me it was i got it first when i went like to, to the market to buy something mm. and then i was walking and in uganda this guy commented like you're beautiful my dark skin girl mm. yeah but in uganda did he, he what, just, did, what, what did he did he did he call you like so there are a few words that when you hear each other talking about you what what did he use was it mochogi was it modinga it was just like in uganda like yeah, that, that was a translation or the, the when i get black up you see yeah it's so it's so tasteless <laughs> it's so tasteless it's so annoying hearing that because yeah. find something else man what was it for you summer for me it was i got charlotte in campus because i studied in a place with predominantly beautiful like skin girls so i remember nine people would be like ah you fit right in and you too you can be one of us because you know you're pretty and then the other thing that i remember is i've had people tell me to tone down on the anger about dark skin girls because i don't even face it as rough because i'm not bad looking yeah so the, that that those are some of the things that i can relate this question to so the second one is you'd be so much more attractive if you had lighter skin yeah i've gotten that so many times so many times <laughs> and also it's it's there's this comment that they say they're like oh my gosh she's so light and pretty like it's like they go hand in hand yeah like, something like yeah. that yeah, yeah so I, I wonder sometimes you, you sit there and you wonder if someone will be like oh she's so dark and pretty no i've had no it's always black and pretty <laughs> no that's why in high school we used to talk and say and oh, that guy is so dark and ugly <laughs> yeah yeah and it's light and pretty dark and ugly yeah dark and ugly and that's how it'd be and you'd be in class i remember I'd be in class and I'd be like okay so that means like yeah guys i'm right here yeah <laughs> and they would yeah i don't know why you would really notice that i just think people don't care people are not as sensitive as they should yeah be. or when you have a lighter family member would say what's happened to you yeah 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 yeah, yeah. But I've, I've gotten that a lot people are like mm, you guys are related and then you have to start explaining but a lot of times we choose not to we're just like yeah yeah and then you just you just keep just going one something the attractive if if you're lighter skinned i've i've been told that mm. i would be more dateable if i was lighter skinned like i i, I check every box but that was so so yeah. that guy yeah that's okay wow not just one so the third question is after a lighter skinned person has been out in the sun for a while and they say i'm as dark as you <laughs> you know <laughs> john is still laughing that one is so insulting you cannot even begin to imagine that 
Yeah, it's happened to me. That's before. that's something that and someone would be like. Yeah, I'm going to say that. Yeah, and it's it's my teacher who told me that. Like, so yeah, we were walking. I we were walking, going to class. It was really hot, and he was like, "Hey, let me hurry and get to class. I don't want to become as dark as you." <laughs> and then I just I just looked at him, and I was in Essex and just walked to class. I remember that statement always stays with me. I was like, "Wow." You don't forget these things. Okay. Then the other version of that one that I've heard is when someone says loudly, loud enough for you to hear, um, I'm light skinned, I don't want to stand in the sun too long, and become like some people. I've heard that one twice. Yeah, and there's also one that I hear when um, maybe they haven't seen you for long and they're like, mm. okay, you become light. Mm. And then like, yeah. Like, wow, you just achieved something real big there. Stay in the house more. <laughs> yeah, that one, that one happens a lot too. I remember sometimes I hated the beginning of time because yes, I thought same. it was, I was coming. I was just about to say that, but for me it was the opposite. For the lighter skin girls, when they came back, I'm like, oh my god, you're lighter, and lava. Or like, oh my god. <laughs> like, it was like, wow, you're lighter skin, you become light. And she, she's like, yeah. <laughs> Ah, I was going to make a reference to a book. You guys should read American Reads. There's, there's a line in mm. there that, that's very similar to what John just said. So, the fourth thing is, why are you always this dark? For me, the why are you always this dark was, um, <clears throat> I've had people ask me if I shower well. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, do you scrub? Because you know how sometimes for, for lighter people, when they show up, well, sometimes they'll have like uh, the ears are darker mm-hmm. or behind or the neck is dark and that's that. So I think when people ask me this, they think that maybe there's also something I'm doing wrong. And so this is all just that that has remained. And I should do a better job at it. And yeah, I've also, um, this way it always dark also reminds me of a question that you get a lot when someone sees your pictures. Because you know the bees are supposed to yeah. go flowering yeah, and yeah. you can put you there. <laughs> I was almost like, this can't be baby, it's ugly. <laughs> but it's really not an ugly baby, it's just a dark skin. Or um, there's this thing that people, I don't know if you say that, but to like some parents, not even like someone you know. Mm. They, they, they they say, oh my god, your baby is so dark. Mm. And you're like, it's, it's a baby. Yeah. It's a baby. Like, yeah. And I think that's a sort of pressure that makes women bleach their babies. We're not going to be it. It's not a thing that we've seen around. I've seen, I think, two women try to bleach their children because yeah, they want the child to look more acceptable. Yeah. Yeah. It's society. It's true. Mm. Oh, the baby comes out light and they're like, the baby is so beautiful. It's so light. <laughs> or like, don't, don't put him in the sun. Yeah, make him dark. Yeah. Some of those funny, funny comments. Yeah, actually, yeah, we treat being dark like it's like it's a terrible thing that you should overcome. Yeah. And Or or um, prevent. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's not a thing that can happen naturally. Yeah. Or can naturally. <clears throat> so, the fifth. So the fifth question is, is is really funny because I can totally relate for both of us. You look like insert name of a dark skin celebrity that you definitely don't look like. <laughs> it happens all the time. Yeah. So if you watched part one, you know we talked about that one random black person that's always big in the media. Mm-hmm. Obviously it's Lupita. Yeah. So we, now we all look like her. Yeah, we all look like Lupita. And and the, that point, I'll admit that I, I I played with that to my advantage, and sometimes I even call myself the Peter because yeah. maybe if they associate me with someone so powerful or famous, so beautiful, yeah, mm-hmm. it gives yeah, you it gives you confidence because yeah. you see her as beautiful, like she's actually I've been accepted, yeah. And so you're like, well, thank you, yeah, we look alike, but yeah, I I, I like to wonder that if it was like twenty years, twenty, like fifteen years ago. Would they tell me that I look like a leopard? Honestly, yeah. and want me to believe it? Yeah, yeah. 
So you look like basically means you're the same color as Yeah. But then also why do I have to look like someone else when she can look like herself? And I can she, look like yeah. me. Yeah. Exactly. And we're both beautiful. You can just tell me, oh, you have makeup. Exactly. Mm. Notice I didn't say you're lovely. Light girl. Because um, that's the thing. Now for us, when someone is saying a compliment. Yeah. yeah they always throw in the dark. That's true. So what I like to ask myself is when they are complimenting a light skin girl, do they also say, you're a lovely light girl? Or do they just say, you're a beautiful girl? Yeah. yeah so I don't know why you should come and tell, call me a black beauty. Just call me a beauty. Because beauty. you're not going to go to a light girl and say you're a light, light beauty. beauty. That's true. So, number six. <laughs> you're so lucky you're dark. Why do I usually want darker skin women of color? Now, a hundred. I was so quite beautiful. <laughs> yeah. And I actually had it in my brain <laughs> when I was younger. I was like, okay, in my brain, in high school, I think I stopped going for functions because, like, boys are age would only go for lighter skin girls. I was like, you know, when I grow up, I'm going to marry a boy. A, a Mzungu or a white boy, so, so because they're yeah, the only ones who they said like light skin, um, dark skin girls, yeah. And the reason is that they like their girls to look African, so it's weird that this is when everyone remembers such an yeah, African exactly. girl when it's someone else seeing you that way, not, not your fellow Africans, yeah, saying this is a fellow African yeah. girl. And also, on that topic, uh, I think sometimes um, men like let us down because they are the first to to just talk negative things or yeah you know like um i read somewhere on twitter where one someone commented and said why is a guy allowed to get away with calling me all these nasty names when i'm dark skinned and he will say it's because he was young and he's foolish and stupid and then they'll forgive and then they can be they'll forgive and say oh yeah he's now different and now changed or something that's like true. that yeah that's true and the sad thing about that is before this before this newer generation of women that are more supportive of each other we, we women were really what's the word but let's just say women weren't each other's friends yeah. so at the slightest chance you get you can easily turn against another woman yeah so of course sure. if a woman sees a man degrading you she's going to join in because she's looking for his approval when yeah. she is your friendship yeah and so the end result of that is that you have both men and women talking to you a certain way so even the girls that should be supporting you are putting you down yeah just as well yeah so it just it's a really difficult way to live yeah because you know that at any at any time someone is going to bring it down yeah and then you have to shrink the thing about white men, yes, I've got it so many times. I've, I've, I grew up knowing that I am definitely assured of, of getting a white husband. All I have we to do is... Remember, we used to come back with this is our yeah. plan. Yeah. Okay, so My name is called Justin. <laughs> I, I, you had a name. I had like, you know about those Coca-Cola bottles of drink, share a Coca-Cola with? Uh, I got a Justin one and I put it on my, on my locker in my room. Yeah. I was, I, I was set, you guys. All I had to do was walk out of school and walk into... Kololo, is and the white men are going to come running. running. Yeah, they're going to be like, come, let's take you to the US and have mixed babies. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. And the thing about marrying a white man is that your kids would also be like that. Skin. Yeah, and that's also something that I think I personally thought of because I was like, I don't want my children to go through what I went through, so let me just save them all the misery. The thing we said about. People talking about being dark like it's something you should survive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Number seven, you should definitely marry someone lighter or white. Your babies aren't such a babies aren't so dark. We've literally just talked about it, yeah. but we could we could talk about it more. Now the the, the common thing with our media and our society is a dark man and a light man. Yeah. Exactly, so, and also in me personally, in my brain, as like a light skinned guy would never go for me yeah. because I'm like not his a standard. Yeah, yeah. And uh, to add to that, no, for me the weird thing is that I got both sides of advice. I was told to date a very light guy to save my children, <clears throat> but then I was also told to date like a guy who's a bit lighter than me, so that we don't look too shocking together. So, 
imagine going out there, you already know you don't have so many options. But even in those options, you have to be picky because you don't want to offend people. Yeah, or you don't want to hear his comments. So, number eight, the dark color berry, the sweeter the juice. That's everywhere. I feel like this, 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 this thing is literally everywhere. I don't find it offensive. I don't know why. I don't find it because I've had it so many times. Yes. But now for me, it's not offensive, but it's a bit scary for me because mm. remember the first thing that you see when you see me is my skin. Yeah. So for that to be the next thing you come up with, like, what are you talking about, my friend? <laughs> like, no, for, me, for me, in that, in that reference, I've always had it when. A black girl is being insulted, that's what they use, like the dark color very strangely. Okay, like when not insulted but like I don't know how to say it. That sounds rapey. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say it. It sounds very that's why I said it sounds scary because it sounds like that's an explanation that they yeah, have for you to yeah. see how sweet the juice is. <laughs> it's just so gross. <laughs> So number nine is don't wear dark colors. They'll make you look darker. Yeah, I've had that all day. Every day. <laughs> even even when I wake up, sometimes wearing I, I I've just started wearing like black things usually. Really? Like I was not outside from black. <laughs> <laughs> you know, even in the shop when you're buying, the chick is like, no, that one you're so black. I don't even know those women downtown. For them, they don't know these things. Of, they don't know how to be polite, so they don't have like yeah. dark skin words. So the way I think for me is that I always played it so safe with my clothes and I always wore darker colours because I felt like if it's too bright then it's going to make it's going to be a very horrible contrast against my skin. So yeah. all my a lot of my clothes have been very dark. It's always dark or like grey. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The one colour that I Always send away from us yellow because it's like no. And turns out to look very nice. Yes. Maybe for the next video will be yellow, but yellow looks and white. I have to stay away from white a lot. Yeah, but the contrast with white and this oh. skin is really nice. And then the final one is any and all references to dark chocolate. <laughs> dark chocolate is like black beauty. I just yeah. don't want to hear it. Yeah, that. I remember um, I was watching something, I think it was on YouTube, and then one of the girls was saying she, she, one, one I think it was a guy, come and asked her, do you taste like dark chocolate? So she asked him, do you taste like white chocolate? <laughs> wow. Like, does your skin taste like dark chocolate? And she was like, do you what, taste like white chocolate? That's such a dumb chocolate? question. Yeah. So, um, and, and to close this off, John and I want to say that, like, sometimes we know that you mean well, like, you don't yeah. mean to come off insulting, yeah, you don't, but you do, <laughs> you do, because the first thing, like, I want you to be able to talk about me outside of, like, skin color, yeah, so, really, you can't tell me that you're calling me chocolate, and obviously I know it's because chocolate is, is brown. But you're not going to walk up to a light skin chick and say like biscuit or cookie <laughs> or honey. Yeah. Because you've accepted that she's beautiful, you don't have to compare her to food. Yeah, that's true. Now for us, manya coffee. <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> but you have to add, add the word dark mm -hmm. chocolate mm -hmm. to emphasize your point, I guess. It has to be some dark food. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it's and then when you're insulting you're going to like uh, be like chaco. <laughs> Why is it always a comparison for us? Like, it doesn't always have shadow. I've had, I've had chapel and shadow so many times. Like, black polish, but I get that's so good. So, yeah, guys, remember these, even if you don't mean to be offensive, you just say, don't let, don't let the skin be the first thing you see. As you think about it. Yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, leave a comment on anything that, anything that we've talked about and we'll reply. 
and i hope you enjoyed 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 this video i'd like to thank somebody for joining me i'll be back yes <laughs> don't forget to subscribe comment like all that good stuff and i'll see you next time bye, bye.